Hello everyone! Welcome to another art video where I'll be showing you several of the pieces of artwork I worked on earlier this spring. In all honesty, I was hoping to have finished this video more than a month ago when I captured this footage of wildlife emerging and blossoming around my home. But alas, creating other pieces of artwork had become my priority and I've only now gotten around to recording this voiceover. <laughs> Spring is an interesting time of year in New England. It announces itself with a string of warm, bright days that beckon us all outside, and then the cold and gloominess returns for a while, and the temperature dances around for a while until it finally lands on uncomfortably hot. I spend most of my time in my room painting and lettering, though this year I have ventured outside here and there to enjoy the smells and the songs of the birds, which I love. The first piece that you'll see in this video features a poignant quote by poet Morgan Harper Nichols. Some of the most beautiful change in life happens slowly. Mm. What lovely and true words. I felt eager to add color to the composition, which I had previously designed digitally. And as is often the case with the quotes I hands letter, this phrase applies to my own life, and I spent some time reflecting on its truth. Have you heard of the phenomenon of plant blindness? It refers to our inability to perceive the movements of plants without the aid of technology. Just to give you some context, plants often move their limbs and leaves deliberately, for example, to seek dain to, <laughs> to avoid danger, not seek danger, to seek sunlight or compete for resources. But because these movements take place over such long periods of time, we humans don't notice them, unless we use time-lapse technology, and as a result, we are blind to the change. This concept intrigues me. Change is happening. It is there, but we don't see it, and it therefore doesn't exist for us. At least, not until we intentionally notice it, in this case by speeding up a film. Change happens slowly in many areas of life, like my own healing process, but I wonder how much of this beautiful transformation I miss because I am blind to it. Slow change is still change, and sometimes the best things in life do happen slowly. I mean, even just making this video has taken months longer than I anticipated. <laughs> oh, by the way, the full real-time process video for this piece of artwork is available on my Patreon page, along with several other exclusive educational videos. So you can learn how to make these blended letters with watercolor paints. I'm happy with how it turned out, and of course, I moved on quickly to another piece of artwork. The art supply company Arteza recently gifted me these beautiful alcohol brush markers and I thought the perfect way to get to know them and to practice my blending skills was to make this colorful abstract wave pattern. Since then I've used the markers for other pieces of artwork like this portrait that I am very proud of. For this piece I chose a quote that doesn't fully resonate with me, but it is hopeful and uplifting, and that is sometimes what I need. Thank you. 
Spring can be a time of excitement, hope, and anticipation. As many of the trees around me burst with productivity, I notice my own creativity blossoming. However, I also notice feelings of longing as I wait rather impatiently for the leaves on the oak trees to finally appear. Oaks dominate the canopy of my particular street and they tend to blossom weeks later than the maples. I long for my health to improve enough for me to feel well enough to plant fruit trees and blueberry bushes on my property. The possibility is lovely to think about and I hold on to the dream for now. So I can't remember where I found the quote for this third piece of artwork, but I must have heard it on a podcast or in a YouTube video and forgot to jot down the name of the person speaking. If you know who the author is, please comment down below this video so that I can give them proper credit. Anyway, I stayed nice and cozy while designing the layout for this composition on my iPad and I transferred the finished design onto mixed media paper so I could add color with my brush pens. By the way, I also turned this piece into a real-time blending tutorial for my patrons on Patreon. So if you join the committed student tier on my Patreon, you can learn this blending technique and be able to create the first piece of artwork from this video as well. The quote says, there are infinite pathways to positive change. And okay, I don't know about infinite pathways, but I love the sentiment that there are more options than just the right choice and the wrong choice. I've never been the type of person who enjoyed obeying authority, so I have quite a bit of experience generating novel solutions to all types of problems, often so that I could do things my way. And it turns out that this inventiveness is a super handy quality to have, especially on my journey of recovery. I think that we need more people out there who challenge themselves to find multiple ways to solve problems in their lives. The best way to have a good idea is to have a lot of ideas. That's another quote I wrote recently that I loved. And I think these words also implore us not to give up if we've tried more than one option and haven't yet succeeded. We may just need to try a few more pathways to see which one leads to the change we desire. And that is a nice segue into this next piece of artwork, which is a sketchbook page that just never seemed to work out for me despite trying a few different things. After painting the penguin and flowers, I had put this piece aside for months or maybe even like more than a year because I strongly disliked the lettering that I did below the penguin. What lettering, you might be asking? Well, you can't see it now because I scrubbed it off the paper by re-wetting it and then I covered it up with a blue metallic gouache background. <laughs> I definitely don't love everything I make. So this page in my watercolor sketchbook turned into a bit of a collage and I realized that I actually like this collage style and I'll potentially use collages in my future artwork.
This last piece that you see me creating today is me just playing around with watercolor pigment paints and dye-based paints. And it's truly an experiment. In fact, it feels a bit vulnerable for me to share this artwork with you because this technique is outside of my comfort zone and some of my more recent pieces of watercolor art are much more impressive than this one, in my opinion. This one is imprecise and messy and intuitive, but creating outside my comfort zone is one of the main reasons I've gained so many skills in drawing and painting over the past few years. That and the fact that I watch lots of art videos and tutorials and classes on Skillshare. While painting this piece, I eventually searched for a reference photo to help make the flowers appear a bit more organic. And I think what is ultimately valuable about this piece of watercolor artwork was the process of creating it. Watching the paints spread throughout the water on the page was magical, and adding glitter paints at the end was satisfying. Where is your creativity leading you today? What wants to be created through you? Maybe today you can put aside your insecurities and fears just for a little while and dare to draw or paint or letter something that you really want to make but think is too challenging. Go for it! This is your invitation. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and feel free to share it with someone you think might resonate with the messages I've shared. Enjoy your spring or autumn, depending on your hemisphere. Bye for now.